Good morning. Um, this is episode two on my Get Ready Me With Me. Just going to um, pop my sunscreen on. I'm now over 60 hours into my fast. And I have to say, I've woken up this morning just feeling completely buzzing. Um, quite euphoric. Um, yeah, day three. No calories just had my coffee which could explain the euphoria i suppose um but yeah feeling great um so i wanted to talk to you today a little bit more about the benefits of um fasting particularly the brain new derived nootropic factor so bdnf brain derived nootropic factor and also a little bit about um human growth hormone so the longer you fast, the deeper and the more you release BDNF. Um, now, BDNF is considered to be like um, fertilizer for the brain. So it can really help to reverse any neurological damage um, and it helps with concentration and focus. Now, this is really interesting because a lot of people will tell you that the brain will can only run on glucose. And that is um, partially true, um, but not completely true. So the brain can run and does run, certainly in a fasted state, on ketone bodies as well as glucose. Now, when you're not eating glucose, so if you're fasting um or you're on a low carbohydrate diet your body can actually convert um fat or um so glycerol uh, from fatty acids into glucose so the brain does have a supply of glucose even if you are not eating um but the brain can also work very well on ketone bodies which are fat molecules and the fat molecules is actually a cleaner fuel for the brain and when you're fasting if you speak to anybody who's done a long-term fast they'll all talk to you about this this almost laser focus that you have things just seem clearer you're able to concentrate better and I would say there's less less noise in your head. I don't know if you understand that, but you know sometimes when you've got like a million things to do, like we all do have a million things to do in our lives, and you kind of have all of these streams of thoughts. You know, oh, I must go and feed the dog. I've got to take the dog for a walk. I must do my washing, da 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 all of that. When you're fasting, you can just sort of grab hold of these different streams and think, oh, I don't, it just seems more logical and everything seems less overwhelming. Definitely. I think that that's the uh, key to this is it's, it's less overwhelming. Um, like even with my house, you know, like when you're cleaning and you say, you you think, oh, I'll do the bathroom or I'll take the towels up to the bathroom and then you forget the, I don't know, one of the cloths that you've just cleaned that you want to take up. When you're fasting, everything just seems to be much more logical. <laughs> um, and I would say that's with every, every part of um, your life. Um, you have so much more energy as well. And I mean, I'm guessing that's also because, I'm just looking for my um, primer, you have more energy. And I mean, whether that's because you're, you have more time, because of course, you know, when you're eating, so this is the um, Radiant Glow part, part Primer from Anika, love this. If you want a, just a sort of, a glow to the skin um, without like a, a full foundation. You just literally want that sort of no makeup makeup. This is amazing stuff. Love this. Um, yeah, you have such more, more time. And I think because you're a little bit 
bored because you're not eating. You don't have that sort of time, that satiety from food. You tend to do more so um, to keep yourself busy. Um, and I've definitely noticed, uh, certainly I think I said yesterday that my house is never as tidy as when I'm fasting. Um, but you actually enjoy doing it as well, which, you know, some people do enjoy um, cleaning. Um, I'm unfortunately, I'm not one of those proper people. Um, but when I'm fasting or in a fasting state, I sort of find myself doing things that I would not normally do, such as cleaning the fronts of the cupboards, cleaning inside the cupboards, cleaning out the knife and fork drawer. Um, so that's always a bonus. Other things um, that occur around the sort of um, three day mark of fasting is that you start to release human growth hormone. Now, human growth hormone preserves muscle, so skeletal muscle, while preferentially prioritising the um, use of fat as fuel. So if you imagine when you're fasting, it's really important that you don't um, start to break down your own muscle reserves. And if you think about this from an evolutionary perspective, point of view so sort of hundreds of thousands of years ago when humans were hunter gatherers there would certainly have been periods where there would have been times where there weren't any animals to hunt um, or vegetation presumably to eat so we would have gone through periods of fasting and if we started, our body started to metabolise our muscles during those times and also our brains became sort of offline because they were, your brain wasn't able to function because it didn't have any glucose, it would be near on impossible to hunt for food in that state. So it does make a lot of sense that when you go into a fasted state, your brain becomes much more um, vigilant and also your body preserves its muscle cells because if you needed to go out and hunt, you would need your skeletal muscles and your energy to have a um, successful hunt. So a lot of people would think that when you're in a, a longer term fast that you're going to feel tired, lethargic, you'd have brain fog, you just want to sleep all the time. And actually that is not true whatsoever. In fact, I would say it's the complete opposite. Now, human growth hormone is also used by people for sort of age reversal. Um, and a lot of people, particularly in Hollywood, pay for human growth hormone. Um, and it can cost thousands and thousands of pounds a month. So fasting, longer term fasting is an easy way for you to get into a release of human growth hormone. And we stop releasing, or so women stop releasing human growth hormone significantly, I think in their mid-20s. Might be slightly different for men, but um, yeah, I mean, it's another advantage of fasting is that you go into that increased state of the release of human growth hormone, as well as the brain-derived nootropic factor, so preserving your brain. There is evidence, you know, to help with reversal of dementia, prevent Alzheimer's, and of course, the benefits of ketone, therapeutic ketone diets are huge. I mean, there's so much information out there. If you wanted to look into the therapeutic benefits of a ketogenic diet, uh, particularly for um, seizures, um, seizures in epileptics, um, certain cancers, um, but many, many inflammatory diseases. 
So I will talk about that again later. I'll probably put another little blog up later um, when I get in from work. So at the end of the day, um, and I'm just going to finish my makeup off now. Um, and um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you later. Bye.